One of the questions that I get a lot is, what's it like singing in front of thousands of people? When you get up on the stage and you just see faces all through the room, how does that feel? And um, this is gonna seem like the strangest answer, but I'm not really sure how that feels. Because when I get on a stage, I am singing to about four or five people. And I've been praying for them since the beginning uh, of the concert. Um, before we go on the stage, uh, we have a Devo time out in the crowd uh, before the people come in. And the whole tour is there. We get in the Word together, we might be in small groups together, but the way it always ends is we're gonna walk through the chairs and we're praying for people before they come. We're praying for families, we're praying for people that, that aren't saved yet, that, that need to be. We're praying for believers that might be running or might be seeking God for something or other. It's while, I'm, while I'm walking through those chairs, I'm praying for those people. And in the first two songs of the night, I find my people. And I'm always looking through the crowd and I always look for someone who's, uh, their hands are in the air and they're just, man, they're, they're just, it's like G Jesus is right there standing next to them when they talk because I want to talk to that guy. But there's also the person that looks like they got drug in there, right? It's a person that looks like they came because they love somebody, okay, I'll come. It's usually somebody's husband. And I'm always looking for that guy, the guy that's checking his watch, the guy that's looking around waiting on this to be over because he's on my mind. And I find about three or four people that night and for the rest of the night, they're who I'm talking to every time. I don't know how to talk to a crowd, but I know how to talk to people. So when I give the story about Voice of Truth, it's the same story every night, but not that night because now I'm telling it to that guy, right? So through the night, I'm trying to share the gospel in every, every way possible because I want to see that man love his family and be closer to Jesus, to Jesus when he leaves. So how does it feel when I'm writing songs? The exact same way. The things that I'm writing are coming out of what I'm teaching in my church when I'm pouring into teenagers at my church. But every time I sit down at the piano, I'm looking at this piano in my living room and I remember the songs that have come from moments with just me and Jesus sitting at this piano. I'm not a really good piano player. I play probably four or five chords, just enough to write to where I can get it to Megan uh, so she can make it sound good, right? But while I'm sitting there, I'm remembering songs like East to West and Voice of Truth and all these moments that was just me and Jesus and usually one person in my mind while I'm writing. And I was sitting down to start the record and this song was one of the first to come to mind. And it was like, Lord, why am I writing this song? Does the world really even need another song? Is there room for another four minutes of music and message in this world? How do I know that it's worth doing this? What is the win in this? The win for me is one person taking a little step closer to Jesus than they were when they got there. Someone looking up when they weren't before. That is my goal. And that's a win that you don't always get to see because that's a win that only Jesus can make happen, right? So there's so many times when God pushes us into something where we serve Him or we share our story or we start a ministry and the fruit doesn't bloom right there. But our job was never to bring fruit. Our job is to know Him and to make Him known. And every time I write one of those songs, I write from my broken places. I sing to people that are real, about situations that are real, and I ask God to do something that only He can do. And as long as I'm in the church, I'll have something to say. I've never come to a record and thought, what are we gonna talk about? What I come to a record is, how am I gonna get all this into these songs? Because this is real. These aren't thematic little spiritual thoughts. People are hurting and they need hope. They need to be challenged. And this song isn't gonna get to all of them. So my question to you is, where are the people around you right now that only you can get to? Are you seeing your purpose there? Are you realizing that that job you have might be just so you can work with that person in that moment. Just like this song is for you.